Hey YouTube, it's Anne, and today I'm just here with a home goods haul. Not necessarily the home goods store, but just homeware in general. I just wanted to share some things that I got in terms of homeware and also my new set background thing going on. So I don't know exactly what direction I want to go in with home goods. I see so many things in gold and silver and rose gold and I just want everything. So I just decided on these three things. These are all in kind of like a distressed white silver finish. I got these from Burlington right here. One stop shop. So the first thing I have is this owl right here. So cute, right? Again, he has this texture to him. He's kind of gold, white gold, white silver, um, but it says silver on here. It's supposed to be $9.99, but I got him for $7.99 because a girl hooked me up. Thank you so much. This, I don't know exactly what it is. I feel like it's a candle holder, but not a candle stick holder. I feel like it's for fatter candles. I can also display products on here if I wanted to. I just think it's really cool. It also has like the distressed thing going on. The brand of this was I think East India Company and I really like this. I just have this for a tall level. There's levels to this. Third thing I have is this jug and I really like this the most. You can kind of see through the bottom right here. It doesn't sound really weird. I got this one for $14.99. This was the most expensive of the three and the cool thing about this is besides the distress part is they have this etching in the middle. They have if you can see, you probably can. They have this flower design right here and then more curves to look like leaves. I really like this. What can you really do with this besides display purposes? You might be able to put flowers in here, but that will be a witch to clean. The fourth thing that I got from Burlington was this mirrored tray. Hey, I got this for $14.99. It came in two other sizes, but this is the one that I felt the most comfortable with and the one that I liked the most. It has like a kind of a photo frame feel to it with the beveled edges and it has a crisscross design. And I'm just using this to store my makeup so I'll have all my premium items here and everything I reach for every day and then I'll have my little lush bell glass display in the corner over here and premium perfumes like my Dior perfume, my Gucci perfume and all that good stuff so really like that if I have a pic of it I will put it here if not I'll edit this out and I need to get this back in my room because there's stuff all over my desk because this is gone. Moving along to things that I got from Bath & Body Work, which brings me to this little rose gold piece right here. This is a candle holder and right now I have a candle that's too small in here. I just have a tea light candle in here. It has a snowflake design and it also has a geometric Aztec design. So since it's not really it's winter time, but it's not tis the season time, I kind of can flip it to this side to have the geometric design. So it has this removable holster right here. And I just have a tiny little tea light candle. Let me not burn the house down. And I'm gonna put this back. I got the candle holder for $7.25, which was originally $14.50. Next thing I got was this. This was a great deal. This is a small candle in Cranberry Woods. And I got this for $1.50 from $4.50. But so good, I love cranberries. I like cranberry juice, I like cranberry things, which is odd because I don't like seasonal things, but I love cranberry, and this actually fits in there. So as soon as I finish this video, I'll be able to put this in there or more of these little candles. Last thing I got from Bath & Body Works was this candle, and I got this candle for $12. They're normally $22.50. It can get more cheap than that, but I just decided to pick this up. This was the last one, and I'm very sad. This is Sun Drenched Vineyard. A full body blend of rich fruit, white wine grapes, and French oak recalls an unforgettable day at a family run vineyard in a tiny Provençal village. So it's pink, love that. Smells like grapefruit, really, but I'm not complaining. I like the smell of grapefruit as well. So can't wait to burn this. This is a three wick candle. Next items I got were from Ross. I got these right here. Julie G, if you watch her vlogs or anything like that, she shows these. 
It just has some really funky geometric prints on the cup. This was originally $6.99 and I got it for $4.99. I also saw the rose gold one like this at Burlington and I should have picked this up. So you already know what I'm trying to use this for. I'm trying to use this for makeup brushes. I have some small short handled brushes that don't fit in the cup that I have it in now. So I bought these so I can quickly reach for things and kind of separate them because they're getting really, um, I don't want to say congested, but congested in my little cup. This is supposed to be for tea lights, but I can't imagine a small little tea light candle being in this big old jar. So because it does say hand wash only and burn with inside, keep away from things that catch fire. And it says tea light recommended, but it's so big for a tea light candle. So I really like this. This is in a silver, so silver. The other thing I got from Ross was this. These are three apothecary jars. I'm not sure what I want to put in here yet, so if you have any suggestions, let me know. The things I want to put in here are either cotton items like cotton pads and q-tips or little rings and things or some kind of jewelry because my jewelry situation is like out of control. So I really want to utilize these and I got this for $14.99, a really good deal for glass and things this big and well it's not really that big, it's like that size so. I don't know, I can put them on my bookshelf or something or in my bathroom, they won't take up too much space. Last thing I got was this teacup from Marshalls. I also got some nail polishes from them as well, but I've been picking up a lot of random nail polishes from different stores, so I guess I'm going to do a collective haul of those nail polishes. So this is from Portobello by Inspire, and I picked this up for $4.99. It's pretty big. Bone China designed in England. So pretty sturdy cup, uh, seems like if you drop this it'll break and it has these flowers on here and I don't exactly know what kind of flowers these are so if you know, let me know in the comments. So it says Paris on it, you know, stereotypical stuff that I would like. It says random calligraphy script on it. I bought this because it ties into the whole my cake stand cupcake stand thing with bell glass when it says uh, carte postale and everything like that. So I really like this so I can sip my tea. I love Earl Grey tea and you know just to be cute and put it here in my videos and pretend like I'm drinking it when I'm really not. That is it for my home goods haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you like my little backdrop thing going on situation and let me know if you liked anything. If I buy any more home goods, then I will definitely share it with you guys. Be sure to check out my previous videos. I have them linked off below and also to the sides of my face. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. Do whatever. Just, you know, do what you do. But watch my shoes. You know? So until next time, see you later. Bye!